53 in just a few hours. Thousands of people, maybe even you or you, could begin the flood Royal Oak for the Arts, Beats and Eats Festival. And not only is this event a celebration of a lot of culture, there's also a charity aspect involved in all of this. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell joins us live this morning to tell us about that. Hi there, Kim. Good morning. I am live in downtown Royal Oak, and I've been showing you the music. I've been showing you the food. I've been showing you the fun. But the great thing about this event is that it really does give back to the community. I'm joined by John Witz. He's one of the guys who makes this all possible. Thanks for joining me this morning. Good to be here, Kim. So tell me, how does this event help charity? Well, we have 60 nonprofit partners tied in. They receive a portion of the gate. They see a portion of the beverage sales. We have wonderful programs like a great family initiative for kids with autism and their family today. We have a run for Michigan Youth Arts, a Zumbathon for Camaranos Cancer Institute. Uh, so many wonderful things. It's been almost three and a half million dollars that we've raised in 15 years. So when you add that to great bands like Ario Speedwagon, and Beatlemania tonight, 50 Amp Fuse, 65 restaurants, 140 artists, great stuff for the family. It's a wonderful time, and there's so many great things that we'll be doing uh, throughout this weekend. And you are hoping to reach a landmark when it comes to charity donations. Right. If, with this great weather this weekend and all the people that we're expecting to come out, you know, hopefully we might hit the $4 million mark that's been donated in our 15th year. So uh, it's pretty exciting, pretty rewarding, and we couldn't do it without great partners doing some pretty Pretty, uh, creative things with us so we're so glad Citizens Bank is helping us today and speaking of Citizens Bank I'm joined by Pat Reardon from Citizens Bank hello and I understand you're helping people get in free if they help give back to those in need we are in the past week we've been uh, uh, partnering with Gleaners Food Bank we ask people to bring down any kind of food any four cans of food if you drop it off at our branch we'll give you a free admission to the to the uh, our speech and eats and get this Citizens Bank is not only helping you get in free if you bring in some food they're giving away cash. Yeah, <laughs> Tell me about that. Oh, we're having a great time with that. The money booth is so popular. This year we renamed it to the Citizens Bank Miracle Money Booth because each year, this, year, this year every dollar that we capture in people's hands, we're going to match that and donate that same amount to the Children's Miracle Network. And I want to try this out. I want to see how easy it is to catch some cash and help out charity. So let's go on in here. And, you know, the great thing is if you are selected, they're selecting people every hour on the hour as people go in through the crowds. Um, they are going to let you keep the cash that you check when they turn it on. And then they're going to count how much money you get and whatever you get. Well, they're going to match it to charity. So I'm going to see how much I can grab here. And if I get enough, ooh, look at that. If I get enough, I may not be working. Reporting live in uh, downtown Royal Loop, Kim Russell 7 Action News. We'll see if I'm back for the next tip. You got to put that mic down, Kim, and go for gold. Exactly. <laughs> okay. We're putting it Two down. hands. Here we go. Stuff those pockets. There you go. Bam. <laughs> You're like, now give me a cut. Why, since why I can I go down you. there? Yeah. <laughs> She's having fun Sweet. out there. It's good. She's got the right idea. Put the microphone down. You have to both hands both there. Heads. All right, grab it. I don't think that counts, yeah, Malcolm. Yeah, I know. No cash here. Those. those are 